Guys, it's early June, and you know what that means. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback, I'm, um, yeah, it's a great game. E3 for gamers like myself is a wonderful time to get hyped and get disappointed. In this video, I'll be predicting Nintendo's E3 showcase, or Direct, or Treehouse, however you want to call it. So without further ado... Yep, I'm retiring. Why are we still here? Before I get to the games, I just want to address something. You're Reggie. You work for Nintendo. Not anymore! I feel like I'm always the one talking about this, but I'm always excited to see who will be in front of the camera for these directs. And now that Reggie has retired, it just makes me wonder. I would really love to see Reggie one last time on camera. I'm not even sure if they're going to show Doug Bowser or Mr. Yoshi himself, and even though I'd accept them, I would still love to see Reggie one last time. For the kids. For the kids. Reggie, to me, was a god. He was a god at being president. He was a god at being a robot. He was even a god at freaking Smash. So here we go, guys. Uh, the match you've all been waiting for. Uh, How many oh. Why are we still here? I might be pregnant. For first party titles, I think I have some pretty solid predictions. We already know there's a good chance we'll see some gameplay from Fire Emblem, Animal Crossing, and maybe even more of Link's Awakening. Pokemon Sword and Shield will have their own Direct a bit before E3, so I doubt they'll talk about it much. And Mario Maker 2 had its own Direct a few weeks back. But what about games that no one is still sure of? I'm talking Bayonetta 3, the rumored Metroid Prime trilogy. The baby, the baby, the baby. And, uh, P Pikmin 4. You know how long it's been since anyone has said anything about Pikmin 4? Come on, Miyamoto. Time for a heavy prediction. Splatoon 3. So everyone remembers Super Mario Odyssey, right? Well, what if I told you that Nintendo is actually making Super Mario Odyssey 2 with Luigi playable? Don't believe me? You would think Nintendo would start making moves like, Oh, yo, this Italian man made us a lot of money. Let's do some DLC. And then Miyamoto just looks at him and is like, Let's just make a new game. Okay. I mean, it's possible they have the engine there, and why else wouldn't they have released DLC? It seems like a no-brainer. I mean, look at Smash! Everyone said no, it's too early for another Smash game, and then Inkling person turns around and everyone was like... No! Another title I'd like to see is probably Breath of the Wild 2, or some other Zelda game that uses the Breath of the Wild engine, sort of like what Majora's Mask did. But I think I'd also be happy with them re-releasing some sort of HD collection of Zelda games for the Switch. That would also be nice. And since there's no virtual console, other than that, I'll also take a port of Xenoblade X, Xenoblade 1, Mario Kart 9, and a large soap. Oh! My point is, whatever Nintendo throws at us, at the end of the day, we'll still be disappointed. So what's the use? What's wrong with us? What's wrong with you? Oh! The Switch has been on a roll lately, but where's Persona? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's on the PlayStation. Where's Kingdom Hearts? Alright, well, I'm glad you asked. It's also on the PlayStation. Where's Grand Theft Auto? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's on the Game Boy. There are so many games on the Switch, but at the same time, there's nothing to play. There's nothing to play. I mean, come on, Rockstar, you have so many amazing games under your belt like Midnight Club, Bully, Grand Theft Auto, and you choose to pour LA Noir. Atlas. Oh, Atlas. I don't know if it's you or Sega, but please, Jokers and Smash, just put Persona 5 on Switch already. No one wants whatever this is. Square. You've done so much. Yeah, you've done so little. Where's Kingdom Hearts, Tomb Raider, Just Cause, and Final Fantasy 13, aka the best one with best girl? Activision, you love money, don't you? So I know Call of Duty. Forget about it. I'm just going home. And for everyone saying, yo, you dumb, th these games can't even run on Switch hardware. To that I say, look at Bethesda. Look at what they did. And speaking of Bethesda, Todd, you pretty much have everything here. But there's still something missing. I'm also expecting to see some Xbox games since they finally opened up to their idea of their games being on the Switch. Maybe some Forza action would be cool seeing as we don't have a lot of good realistic racing games on the Switch. And one last thing. Reggie, oh wait no, you don't work there anymore. Doug Bowser, Cooking Mama, make it happen. Uh, no, no 3DS stuff at all. However, 
Nintendo Switch Pro slash Mini, basically any kind of brand new hardware revision. I won't go into many details here, but in case you've been living under a rock, I'm sure the hundreds of videos on YouTube about it will fill you in. Does Labo count as, as hardware? I'll, 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 I'll assume it does. Yo, they got Smash VR now? What? Okay, Nintendo, hear me out. Xenoblade VR. For the kids. For the kids. Give us themes. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Nintendo Switch Online, huh? Well, oh, we can only go up from here. Nintendo, please, please add a way to message friends, have parties, native voice chat, and so on. I mean, all you have to do is copy your competitors. I mean, they already did it to you, so just, just do it back. Also, Virtual Console. I just want N64 games, man. Your two past consoles did it, so why not the Switch? Another Nintendo Switch Online exclusive game like Tetris 99 would be cool. Um, Netflix, I, I don't use it myself, but I know people want it. And then they ask, why would Netflix be featured in a direct? And to that I say, why was this stupid board game crap in it too? So, there you go. <laughs> it's freaking Smash! It's gonna be Sans! Let's be real, there's gonna be a Smash character, and there's so much speculation at this point. It's gonna be Steve. It's gonna be freaking Banjo. Is gonna be Goku. At this point, I'll just take whatever, dude. The Smash characters I want the most still remain the same. Them being Sora, Rex, and Sans. But let's be honest with ourselves. I mean, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but man, if it's not Steve, I just hope it's someone that will blow me away. You know, someone that I didn't expect. Because at the end of the day, reveals for new fighters are always more exciting when it's someone you didn't expect. I mean, look at Joker. I never even played a Persona game or even knew who he was that much, but I was still super hyped. And who knows, maybe we'll get two character reveals. Maybe there's gonna be an Echo. Maybe either we are gonna get two completely new characters because, I don't know, something tells me Joker took a little too long. But together as a community, all we can do is patiently wait for Sans. Or, or, or Goku. <laughs> I'm a chef, chef, chef.